Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and uh, today I'm going to finish this uh, junk journal uh, that I started last week and um, in general my journal is mostly ready but I still want to decorate it a little bit maybe to decorate the cover a bit more and also to decorate it uh, inside a bit and yeah now it's finally dry and it seems stable enough and strong enough i really struggled with gluing down this uh, fabric here because i didn't have a strong glue so it was not that easy but but as it seems it worked and it seems stable enough so i can continue to work with this journal and the first thing that I want to do, I want to uh, cover this text here. I decided that I will cover it. And I found really beautiful owl illustrations. And these are also from some book that I got in a happy mail some time ago. Uh, so I want to use one of this because here I have a really cute owl and I think it will be nice also to have an owl on the back so I'm just going to glue this down in this one or maybe this one I don't know I think I will use this one I just will cut it a little bit smaller because this one is a bit too big. Okay, I think I will leave it like this. I don't want to add nothing else. I like how it looks. And uh, here in this little frame, maybe later I will write when I finished this journal or something like this. But for the moment, I just will leave it like this. I just will glue down this cute owl. Okay, uh, like this, so for the moment I will leave it. And now I want to see if I want to add something inside. Uh, actually, I really like how this looks already now, this beautiful leaf here and these flowers here. So I think um, I won't add too many things here, just a few small things. I have here this box with um, different forest animals and trees and stuff. Uh, uh, these are all from uh, Stemperia forest paper pad. Uh, that I cut out some time ago, so I think I will use um, some of this to decorate some of my pages. Okay, here I have this lovely pocket and I would like to add something to, to that pocket and I also have a few I also have a few bigger cards and tags uh, from that uh, Stemperia paper pad so I think I will 
choose some of these. I think those are probably too big. Yes, those are too big. So maybe I will use uh, some of the tags. Okay, I will keep these two tags here and maybe I also will add something something very small over there. I also will add here this cute little fox. These book pages I won't change, I will leave them as they are. They're really, really, really beautiful. I love these cute animal illustrations. And also these um, blank pages, like this for example, these coffee dyed papers. I also don't want to decorate them now, uh, because uh, some, some of this I want to use for making collages and then I will cover it anyway or also maybe for journaling um, if I want to write something then I also would like to have few empty pages for that so I won't um, decorate them and also like for example this one so most of the pages in this journal I want to leave uh, as they are don't want to change something now and I don't want to uh, decorate them too much. Uh, I want to keep that for later. When I will uh, start this journal, uh, earlier I decorated many pages in my journals already from the beginning and for example now I work in one of the journals like this, my spring dunk journal and uh, sometimes it's uh, difficult to decide if I want to leave that page um, as it is or if I still want to add something and if yes then what and I also feel like uh, I don't have there enough pages empty pages just for collaging for example uh, so I decided that in this journal I will keep those blank pages empty and won't decorate it but I have a few pockets here so I want to add something to those pockets like for example I have this bunny tag I think it's really cute that was one of the tags that I made uh, last month uh, using the beautiful digital kit and I want to have this bunny in my journal and I think it fits here really really well and I really like that you still can see this cute bunny here through the uh, vellum pocket uh, so this is the first signature and this is my second signature that's the cover of the second signature and this one I want to decorate just a little bit to add a few small details let's see maybe later I will add something else there but for the moment I will leave it like this uh, here I also have a pocket uh, so I would like to add there something I think here I will add uh, some of this bigger uh, journaling cards
And here I also have a pocket. Maybe also just one of those beautiful cards, or maybe even two, why not? Then I can write there something on the back later. And this is the last page of my journal. Here I have this lovely pocket uh, that I have also made last month, but uh, with this one I don't want to glue it down like this completely. I would like it to be rather like this. If I will manage to do that, maybe I just will use some tape and just tape it here. I will use this beautiful Tim Holtz washi tape. I think the problem here that I have here this uh, fabric and lace. I don't know if it will be stable enough, but I hope that yes. Maybe I will use one more strip of this washi. Just to be sure. If I notice, if I will notice that it's not strong enough, then I still always can use some glue to fix it. But I think for the moment it's, it's okay. So now I have here this pocket. I think pocket I will leave empty for the moment and will add something later. Uh, but this page to this page, I also would like to add a few tickets, maybe. Okay, I still always can add uh, something else here, but I think for the moment it's enough. I will leave it like this because of this pocket on the back. This journal is already quite chunky, but it's, it's okay. Anyway, it will be big and chunky as all my journals. And now I think I will add uh, this as a closure to, to my journal. Okay, now my journal is finished. I decided that I won't add nothing else. I will leave it like this for the moment. And I kind of like how it turned out and I um, really like this cover and that I could use this cover for something. So. Uh, so this is how it looks now uh, inside and I think soon I will start to create something in this journal so then you can see and then later you also can see how I will use it but uh, at the moment it looks like this I added here this uh, pieces of something that I had. I think that was a leftover from the uh, from that fabric that I used for making a cover of my journal for December daily. So I decided to use this. They are quite thick but I kinda like it. I 
zinc also fits with, with this uh, branches there and uh, the spine I will leave like this this is the back of my journal now so now this journal is finished and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little, little uh, series and uh, thank you that you joined me for making this journal and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!